What's up guys, Sisterini, hope you're doing well. Today we're back in automation. And in today's video we are going to be trying to make 7,500 horsepower out of a V10. As you can see there, our beautiful right thing assembly is looking awesome. We just have to increase our bore diameter a little bit. And we have to select our right thing assembly, which is going to be mostly forged and also bullet of course. Yes, we're going to be using VVT on all, all cams, and yes, we're going to be using turbos, and of course, quality sliders are on plus 15. With my favorite fuel being the wonderful, only best fuel for making a boatload of power, because it runs in a top fuel dragster, and I absolutely love it. So, we're going to be running nitromethane and uh, quality sliders, as I said, plus 15. No cats, no mufflers, no nothing. Already on a good amount of horsepower, and now let's just quickly look at our flowcharts and start fixing the issues that have been displayed. As you can see there, some of the issues are disappearing, and of course we have to adjust our rev limiter after we expand the size of the extrusor or compressor. RPM rev limiter I think is yeah, 8500 RPM, so uh, I think we can push beyond that a little bit. And as you can see there, we're almost on 4000 horsepower without doing too much to it. Already on 4000 horsepower. So let's go and play with some boosts, shall we? Yes, yes, the Conrad's are stressed. I don't really care because it's good. 5000 horsepower, 5500 before we have issues. Oh yeah, well, we're still good. Still good. Goody, 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 goody. Perfect. Almost 6000 horsepower, but just doing that. Our exhaust is giving us headaches again, but we'll just keep on going until we can't make more any power. Okay, that's looking awesome so far. Beautiful, come on, a little more horsepower. Our pistons are starting to uh, crack under the pressure, but you know, one time fun time of power, of course. So looky there. 6,500 horsepower, 6,600 horsepower. That is really, really, really awesome. And it's still pretty reliable at 24, 23%. So that's pretty good. I think we're gonna go back to the top end and stop messing with the top end a little bit. Make that lower, increase that a little bit. Now, now is the really, really tedious part by tuning this engine up and making our power without it having to explode. I want at least a reliability figure of 5%. <laughs> and now one of you guys told me it isn't really, it's, it isn't the indication to, it doesn't have any weight to it, excuse me. So it's just for fun. So I try and aim for a good amount, just because why not. So we're over 7000 horsepower, which is mind boggling. And we are charging well ahead. I'm going to go back to the turbo and quickly increase our extrusor size. The compressor of course, 7300 horsepower. <laughs> wow, we are getting there. It takes a little bit of work, but we're getting there. 7400 horsepower, okay, now we're really starting to cook on gas. And I have to back it down a little bit, there we go, we can leave it about there. Compression, I'm gonna lower it a little bit, not too much because we see we're losing power. It's all good so far. We are well on our way to that beautiful number. Let's try, hmm, let's try increasing it a little bit. It, it is helping, okay, good. Awesome. Let's try and increase the exhaust size. Oh, it's doing a lot of work. Didn't know it was that restricted. Over 7,500 horsepower. Let's go. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Awesome. Oh, well, let's see how far we're willing to go. I am not sure we're going to go far further than... I had to take a guess. 7.6. But the way this engine is starting to behave, I don't know. 7,500. 7,600? Yeah, 7,600. Can we get 7,700? Ooh, that's gonna be a tough one. <laughs> but it is fine. We can just keep on pushing. I hmm. think, let's try messing with the AR ratio on this turbo. It is helping. 
before it decides to break. Yeah, you can still go a little bit. Hey, hey, there we go. 7,700 horsepower. Wow. That is awesome. And we're not going to get any more power out of this thing. I am positively sure. Next, we're going to quickly go and paint this beautiful beast before we run it. So we're going to make it... Hmm. Let's see. What color do I want to make it? Yeah, blue is good. But... Light blue? Yeah, yeah. At least make it grow. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Let's copy that. The hex code, we can quickly copy and paste it. Hmm. Let's do the air filter next. I think I'm gonna go with a... Like a red, purple, red, pink color. I think that would look awesome. Yeah, here we go. Beautiful. That's more pink than red, but it's close enough. Same with the timing cover, of course. It's gonna be the same color. The sump is gonna be the one that's the same color as the valve covers. That's still a pretty good color. I love it. Headers, of course, that's just the flanges, so it really doesn't matter. Anyways. Let's move on to running this engine. We're going to be doing two pools, one looking at the wonderful engine and one looking at the graph. So let's see what this thing sounds like. I hope it's good. Let's go. That thing sounds incredible. I like how the engine nearly fell off the freaking engine stand, but hey, it sounds good. Thank you so much for watching. Do consider to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you, wonderful people, in the next video. Thank you guys. Bye bye.